Hello, I'm Connie from Faf Designs. Welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. I am one of your Dixie Bell brand ambassadors and in the video today I'm going to flip this sideboard and give it a really colourful makeover. Okay, so the plan here is to give this piece a really fun, vibrant, colourful makeover in one colour. So, because I'm going for a smooth finish, prep is absolutely the key. So, I'm cleaning all over with Dixie Bell's White Lightning and then giving it a rinse. The top was in quite poor condition, there were some deep scratches in it. So, I sanded all of those out with a 120 grit sandpaper just to make sure it was nice and smooth. And the rest of it just needed a quick scuff sand just to make sure there was no dings and all the surfaces were nice and smooth. As you can see, this piece is quite warm toned in its colour. So the, the wood is kind of like a warm, ready tone. That would usually indicate that there potentially might be problems with bleed through. So for that reason, I gave the piece two coats of primer. I'm using Boss which is one of Dixie Bell's primers that specifically targets bleed through problems and I'm using the colour grey. I'm using a roller on this piece because I have loads of flat large surfaces and it's just a lot easier to get a really really good smooth finish with a roller and it's also a lot quicker as well. I applied two coats of Boss and left to dry overnight. That just means you are going to get the full potential of the stain blocking properties if you leave it 24 hours before applying your paint. The colour that I'm using is called Florida Orange. Again, I'm using a roller for speed and to get that nice smooth finish. top is where the roller really comes in handy because it is such a large flat surface and it just means that I can lay the paint down and get it nice and smooth before it's got a chance to dry and using a roller is obviously not going to leave brush strokes. If you are finding that your paint is drying too quickly before you've had a chance to level it out, obviously this is chalk mineral paint so it's from the chalk mineral paint line and that type of paint works really really well with a spritz of water so if you are working in hot conditions or um, you've got a heater on you can of course spray the surface or add a little bit of water to the paint just to give it a slightly longer open time and so that you can get those really smooth finishes. Another tip on getting a smooth finish is using a sanding pad in between your coats of paint. You can also sand in between your coats of primer if you want to and this will just eliminate any unwanted texture and get that surface super smooth. Just remember to take off any dust on the surface with a microfiber cloth or a tack cloth just because obviously if you don't this can get caught in your paint. Once you've got the coverage that you desire, it's top coat time. So I'm giving this piece a gloss top coat. I'm using Dixie Bell's clear coat in the finished gloss. Again, I'm going to use a roller for speed and to just get that really smooth finish. I've lightly spritzed my surface before my first coat. This is just going to help the coat go on really nice and smooth. And it's just something that I like to do. It's personal preference. You don't have to do it, but I just find it works best for me. Again, just rolling the top coat out and getting a really even coverage. If you do get any unwanted texture, don't be tempted to try and fix that as it's drying. Leave the top coat well alone, let it thoroughly dry, get a sanding sponge, lightly sand back that unwanted texture, and then just reapply your top coat. One of the last things I'm gonna do is treat all of the inners with Big Mama's Butter. 
I'm using a Lapite brush to apply it because it's got a pointed end and it gets in all the corners and crevices. So this piece is solid wood and it's also got wooden runners. So this product is gonna help those drawers slide in and out really smoothly. And I'm also gonna apply it to the drawer sides and the drawer inners just to condition and nourish the wood. And it also smells absolutely delicious. Once you've applied your Big Mama's Butter, just remove the excess with a lint-free rag or cloth and buff it up to a nice shine. And here's a close-up of that really beautiful shine that you can get with the gloss top coat. And I've staged it with plenty of houseplants. I don't think you can ever have too many houseplants. Just to give a really nice contrast against that vibrant orange. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to the Dixville YouTube channel.